Hey gang, gonna go ahead and put a quick trash video together for the first boss so that way we know what we're doing and we'll be able to work for it. Um, at this point, we've already reviewed the boss and we've already um, talked about it extensively in multiple meetings and you should have done your own research so at this point you know everything that's going on involving uh, the encounter. What we need to talk about is the notable trash mod so what I'm gonna do is just make a quick video about that and then start going forward. Alright, so what we have here is the gelatinized decays. They're basically oozes that are present on the stage. If you look at this imagery here, on Wowhead, we're gonna enter in via this portal, and then there's gonna be oozes present in here with the boss in a slumber state. Uh, each ooze as they're taken out gives 20 energy, yep, 20 energy to the boss, and then once you kill the fifth one, then the boss is at 100% energy and becomes active as far as the encounter. Now, how many are present on the stage is unknown until we get there, but I would assume it's probably five, all right? Do a little math and get you where you wanna be. Um, the thing that you wanna watch out for is that you wanna make sure that you have a three-person rotation for interrupts because of wave of decay it's a 2.5 second cast that leads into 300,000 damage to everybody in the raid all right um so once we set up our three player rotation pre-pull that's how it's going to coast through there and then we're just going to do everything we can to make sure that we only engage one at a time as we move forward all right um the the ooze also does unstable decay unstable decay um is basically a dot that turns into an aoe knockback every three seconds and the knockback is, or the explosion is 10 yards. Um, distance for the knockback, I don't know. It's probably, t you know, 5, 8, 10 yards, something too. Um, basically, you get the, we're going to do a soft spread as we move through the area. And then once someone gets infected with unstable decay, they need to make sure that other players get away from them and that they also position themselves in an area where they don't hurt anyone just themselves at that point it can be cleansed by a monk paladin or priest just make sure that you don't do it in the middle of the group because then it affects everybody so you do 300,000 damage to everyone plus knock them back okay so that's a big one you want to pay attention for in that form then the next element is every 20 seconds they do putrid swarm putrid swarm empowers the larva and beetles in the room to become aoe explosions over and over and over uh for six seconds straight one pulse every second all right so it it what you need to do is you have six seconds to recognize that it's going to be exploding and then you have 10 you have that six seconds to get 10 yards away before you start being affected by it okay uh you want to make sure that you're paying attention for green it seems is the color of the day right and you want to make sure that you're looking at that on a consistent basis um, another element that I want to bring into the video, I don't want to go in depth on the strategy because like I said, if you don't know how to deal with what's going on in this phase, you know, phase one, phase two of this fight, then you need to review it and prepare yourself. Um, you know, and that's a responsibility that, like I said, I was going to put on the Raiders as a whole as we go through the expansion. Um, but an element I do want you to look at and that I will share the image of is this one right here. This is exactly how we're going to be handling moving the boss around the positioning. This allows you to be able to see the direction that the tank's going to go as far as how the boss will be facing and then dps is always going to be on the outside of it so we're going to go in a counterclockwise fashion with everybody on the right side between front and rear foot because remember she has she has a tail slash um what you want to do is make sure that you're constantly taking rots to the outside and then when breath comes down you want to try to get breath to also do the same thing so that way it only occurs in the outside area and then we're going to continue to rotate through so like i said i'm going to put all these images up because they're outstanding and um, that way you can review them and have them as visual also. And I'll put them on Dropbox so that way we can tie them to the website so that way we can, for example, bring them up in Discord um, and you'll see that, okay? If you have any questions, just uh, comment below on the video and I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I'll go ahead and go over the notable trash for the next boss um, and then keep moving through that in that fashion there, okay? Have a blessed day.